Hello everyone, welcome to another video, or a tutorial even. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how you can just make a button which uh, changes colour uh, when you go over it and when you click it, it will change to a new scene. So, what I've got here is just some text. If I go and edit this here, you'll see that it's just some text. The colour is black and the size is 50. And I've just got this. Its name is button and it doesn't have any behaviours. So, I'll just drag it onto here and notice you can just do that by dragging it. There you go. So, what we're going to do is in the events, we're going to make a new event. We're going to make a condition and this is going to be mouse and touch. So, we're going to have uh, the cursor slash touch is on an object and we're going to choose button. So, this will then see if the cursor is on the object button and if it is, then it will do whatever. If it's not, then it won't. And so when it's on it, we're going to add an action, and that's going to be color. And since it's text, um, I'm going to choose this one. If it was a sprite, you could choose this one. Uh, most people would probably use sprites because um, the text um, thing in a GD5 isn't that good, to be completely honest with you. Okay, we're just going to change, change the color, and I'm just going to make it red. Um, if you don't know uh, how to, <coughs> if you don't know how to use this, uh, basically uh, this is the RGB, so red, uh, RGB, green, blue, and so you see here that it's changed to red. If I did uh, two five five here, then I'll change it to yellow because red and blue is yellow, obviously. Uh, no green even <laughs> red and green is yellow and uh, so I'm just going to change it to um, <coughs> red because that will make us know that we've hovered over it so if I play this now you'll see bang turns red but it doesn't go back to black when you go off of it and that's what we're going to do now so we're going to make a new event we're going to click on add condition and we're just going to go on this one again we're going to choose button but we're going to invert it and so this means that when the cursor is not on button, then this will happen. And so we're going to go color again, and this, and we're just going to make these all zero. Uh, one sec. There we go. So we're just going to make it all zero, and that's black, as you can see. And so when the cursor is not on the button, it will go black. When it is on the button, it will go red. And you'll see that, yes, that does work. And so, if we try and click it, it doesn't do anything. Um, and so, we want to make it change the scene when you press it. So, I'm just going to make a new scene here. I'm just going to call it, let's say, uh, Game, just as an example. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let's just put some text on it. Let's, yeah, let's just do that. So, <coughs> what the heck happened there? Let's put that on it. Text. So, we're going to go on to here, because if we just made a new condition, then um, whenever we clicked, it would just send it to the new scene, um, whether or not we're on the button. It 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 wouldn't wouldn't matter if we're on the button or not. And so in, uh, we need to make sure that we're on the button when we're pressing it, otherwise it will just do it whenever. And so if I then drag this, con um, this event, into this one like this with this part here this is now a sub event of this you can also do this by clicking on this this says add a sub event to these selected events and i'll just add a sub event you can also delete ones by clicking them and then clicking backspace you can copy and paste them by by a <coughs> by a clicking on it uh, command or control c and then command or, or control v and that will paste it in. So we want to add a condition to this sub event, and we're going to do mouse and touch, and mouse button pressed or touch held, and we're going to go to left click. You you can change this to a whatever you want, but um, <coughs> I'm just going to do left click now because that's you know the universal one for menus and clicking on stuff. And now we're going to click on. Uh, on add action and we're going to change the scene so under the scene tab we're going to do change the scene and we're just going to enter the name of game 
and you've got to have it in uh, speech marks. Okay, so now when the cursor or touch is on the button, it will cha change the color. And wh wh when it's on the button and it's pressed with the left mouse button, it, it will cha change it to game. When it's not um, on the button, it, it will change it back to zero and it won't do anything when it's pressed. So if we click play, we click, nothing's happening. If we go on it and we click, bang, we're into the game scene and you can see the text that's there from in here. So that's uh, <laughs> that's really easy. Um, of course, if you wanted to make it bigger when the mouse went on it, you would just do a scale um, um, action on here. And yeah, that's that's really much it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more of these. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.